Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Cardano. Uh, we're doing a full update on uh, on Cardano. I haven't covered it in some time. I think I'm not sure if I if I covered it in the last couple of days. Uh, I did cover it in my live streams, which currently I'm live streaming every other day. So if you are, are interested in that, I'm uh, going live again tomorrow, uh, doing some live trading, live analysis, giving you tips and tricks on crypto trading. So check that out if you're interested in that. There we did cover Cardano, but in this video I wanted to do a, a more thorough cover coverage. Uh, we'll also talk about some network statistics as well. We're very close to a major bullish breakout right here, above 30 cents, um, which is also paired up with some other very strong indicators. So we'll talk about whether I expect us to break above that. Because if we're, for example, taking a look at Matic right now, which is very correlated with with Cardano. You can see that we did break above that level, which was kind of the equivalent. Like 70 cents for Matic is kind of the equivalent for, for 30 cents for Cardano. If we're taking into account all of the market movements. But we'll talk about what I expect from that and just in general the, the situation for Cardano. So that's what we'll do. Before we dive into that, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment. There you will find instructions on how to join. Now onto Cardano. Um, so if we're taking a look at <clears throat> the network statistics, you can actually see that Cardano is doing pretty well again. Total value lock took a big, big hit after those lawsuits by the <clears throat> SEC, excuse me. But now it's, it's recovering fairly well. Daily active addresses, daily transactions never really took a hit or anything. Um, so fundamentally, I would say Cardano is actually doing fairly well. It, it's doing okay at the very least. And then technically we are we are definitely doing good, I would say. I mean, you could make an argument as to why we are actually consolidating right now. On my chart, it looks more like we are in an upwards channel, as you can see. But I mean, if you remove this line, uh, what you'll see is that it's more of sideways movement between uh, 26 and a half cents and 30 cents. Now, I do think there's there's more bullish momentum for Cardano in general uh, because of my uh, thoughts on the market. Right now, Bitcoin is still bullish, even though I do expect bearish momentum on the short term, which we'll still get back to a little bit later. Um, but yeah, overall, it's still bullish. Um, we're still making higher lows and we're not really making lower highs. So the big question then is, is can we actually get a meaningful bull bullish breakout above 30 cents in this case, which has the 0 0.5 FIP, 200 EMA, it's a big psychological level, so that's really the level to break. If we break above that, um, we'll get that bullish break retest and we can get all the way up to 32, 33 cents from there, who knows? I mean, then all of a sudden you are definitely bullish. Um, but the thing is, like I said, I actually do think that this resistance level, it's, it's stronger than it is when we hit it around the 23rd of June. Um, so I do expect some bearish momentum from there. And that together with that, that I also still do expect some bearish momentum from Bitcoin um, leads me to say that I think it's more likely that we'll get a bit of a pullback first and that we'll actually drop down to this level around 28 cents. We might spike down to this trend line at 27 and a half cents. And that from there, we will actually get enough bullish momentum because I do expect a bullish breakout. But that from there, after that liquidity grab, that will get some bullish momentum and get up to 30, 33 and 32 cents. I think that's more likely. It's definitely a possibility. I mean, I could be wrong about that Bitcoin pullback. Like right now on the very short term, it's pretty bullish. Um, so yeah, we, we could definitely get that bullish breakout today as well. Then I was, I was wrong, I guess. But I think given all of the circumstances that this is the more likely scenario. But I'll keep you updated on that. If you're interested in updates, uh, check out the stream tomorrow as well. But for now, that's my take on it. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.